folks at long last we're taking a look at ice cold beer um i've had this game for six months maybe and it's been kind of on the proverbial bench the entire time and um finally got a little time to get it squared away and thought this would be a good opportunity to show it so um kind of the background i bought it locally the uh from a friend the guy that had bought it he bought it out of town, you know, picked it up or had it delivered and put it in storage. And so he hadn't really spent any time with it. When I got it, it was, um, it was pretty clean. It just, uh, needed, you know, and it still needs like, it could, it could stand to have new glass, but I'm, I don't really want to do that right now. Although Phoenix, um, Phoenix Arcade does sell a beautiful repro glass for it. Um, the art is pretty good on it. The cabinet's in really good condition. The PCBs on this game are really hard to come by, and the one that I had um, had some hacks around the uh, drive transistors for uh, the one solenoid in the game, the solenoid that kind of kicks the ball up into play if it falls underneath the bar. And so I had to send that off to Chris Hibbler, at, um, and he... Uh, sent it off, you know, and he, uh, as always, is a scholar and a gentleman, and he uh, fixed it within, I don't know, a couple weeks, and fairly priced, and I'm sure he cleaned a bunch of other hacks up too, but all I know is I had a not-so-great board, sent it off to him, got a board back that works, um, and then a fully detailed uh, breakdown from him. As to what he did that I apparently didn't pay any attention to. <laughs> um, Arcade Shop sells a... Um, a kit for this that allows you to upgrade it so like I've done it with MCR games before where um, you can put an eight liner it's got a factory harness adapter so you can pull your um, pull off your old Atari in this case the old Tato power brick hook it to an eight liner um, adjust your voltage out and have a modern power supply unfortunately that Tato board here um, or some combination of the Tato board and that arcade shop uh, board uh, modernizer are just don't work well together. I tend to think that that modernizer is one that, um, you know, usually those power, power supply adapters are really good. Like I've got them on Tron, on Tapper, on Centipede, and a few others. But for this game, it just doesn't work. And I think part of it is because um, they get five volt off of a five volt test point on the board um, versus, you know, um, you know, going through the harness. And so there are logic differences there. But whatever, I ended up rebuilding the original power supply after trying that thing for a while, between that and the new board. Um, and then a, a good friend, um, my cast, actually bought me a reproduction ball guide, which we installed and uh, got everything lined up and we're kind of off to the races. So do a quick game and check it out. <laughs> Parts for this game are something that haven't really been super available, unfortunately. You, like I said, you can get the the back glass, you can get art kits. The pinballs are are not they're not regular pinballs, but they're common. You can find them. Um, you can get motors and belts. You can get a lot of it, but you can't get PCB pieces um, and parts of that solenoid assembly. I couldn't find um, the uh, bar here. Is something I have not been able to find. Although there are 3D printed. Um, kind of like joiners for the sides that um, hold it to the, um, the belt assembly carrier. Um, so my, and the reason why I've looked for one, like my bar has a slight flat spot here. So if you notice, you have to get it a good bit off of uh, center before it'll roll off that side versus this side. But you know, like most practical gravity games, you just sort of play it as it is. Um, so I'll work around that. Um, not a major deal, I'd love to replace it. I'm afraid to try to do anything on that side of the bar because if it's an irreplaceable part, I don't want to damage it, create more problems. So um, I tend to just try to play it out as best I can um, as it sits. And unfortunately, I have more time working on this game than I do playing, and I've probably only played it about a dozen times. Um, but, you know, that just kind of goes with it.
My general impression is that Ice Cold Beer is a fragile game. Every time I see one at Southern Fried, at Free Play Florida, it's always out of order, um, or out of order for a portion of the weekend. Um, and this one has been no exception. Uh, you know, there's an ice edition that has a slightly different cabinet, a very different PC board stack. Um, I think there is another, another version of this game that has additional holes. Um, but... You know, gained popularity here maybe three or four years ago. You used to be able to find these for not, not that much. Um, but I've noticed that since they've gained popularity with people playing at shows or um, their favorite, you know, YouTube or arcade personality showing them, um, they've become a little more difficult to come by. not a hard ball either I just I'm yeah I do like that it gives you enough time in between balls to drink <laughs> in addition to being on brand that's just practical um, faster you ring each hole, the more bonus you get, and the more you can drink, so, you know, there's that. Touch that. Well, ball eight complete, got to ball nine. It's not a terrible game, not the best, but um, you know, it's good enough. So that's Ice Cold Beer. Um, really fun, practical sort of game. It's, it's easy, people walk up to it. It, it seems to attract um, a pretty diverse player set. My 10-year-old um, loves it, and I know 40-year-olds that love it, and it's beer-themed, and has sort of neat old thematic art. Um, it's a shame that the parts are hard. It's a shame that the, you know, the Tato boards aren't um, a little more forgiving. Um, but I'm really feel thankful to have one. And and uh, yeah, pretty cool game. So if you've got an ice cold beer that's giving you issues, or if you know somebody that does, um, hit me up in comments or, or reach out to me on the side uh, through like arcadeshenanigans.com or um, you know, my email address, you don't have to look too hard to find that, I don't think. 
and um, let me see if I can help you with it because I've learned some things along the way and it seems like information about this game is pretty sparse so if anything I can do to help you I don't mind at all um, thanks for watching and um, yeah hopefully uh, I'll, I'll be a little more frequent here soon I know it's been a little while since I've posted anything but um, yeah.